What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and let's get well, things off the Well, we've learned skit. one thing coming to the capital. The Abbey and Shepherd Artorius have expanded their power immensely. They might as well be the Empire now. They have the undying support of the populace. The Shepherd, savior of humanity. <laughs> I wonder what he meant by the blessings of the Empyrean Enominat. That's what they call the gods they worship in church, right? The Empyreans? He promised a lot in that speech. But can he really command such a power? I have no idea. Not even we Malachim know of them beyond the stories and legends. He called Enominat the fifth Empyrean. There should only be four. One ruling each element. Is he talking about a new Empyrean? Have you heard anything Luffy said? Sorry. I don't know anything about this. It doesn't matter. We should be careful about taking his words at face value. The man is no saint. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his aims. But there's no way he could have a god at his beck and call. Don't underestimate the Abbey. Trust me, I'm not. That's why I'm using the Shadow Guild to help us hunt them down. And to make sure that I kill him. Hmm. I mean, the whole fifth thing makes me think of kind of like the Eclipse and Griffith. Especially if there's one for each element, the fifth is probably supposed to represent like a leader of sorts. So I can't really say that's surprising. Is this? Oh, these people. Oh, yeah, okay, that Demon Bat was one. Received 1200 what? 1200. No. Oh, bounty. Ah, uh, Gallus Lake Road. Intense battle difficulty. Oh boy. Uh -huh. Where's this thing at? Gallus Lake Road, Yawning Wetlands. I don't think I've seen that. And what's number two? Anyway. You're good at what? Let's destroy some goods. A red crate stored in a warehouse in Port Zexen. There's Zexen. still more. Oh, Port Zexen. I might be teleporting. Destroying red crates in a warehouse? Doesn't sound very nice. Have we ever been nice? <laughs> I suppose not. This is a contract job, so let's keep costs down. I'll call the Von Eltia and have her draw the guards away. If you would. What will we be destroying? Who knows? That's hardly our concern. medical crates we recover with red, but it doesn't make sense that I would destroy medical supplies after just rescuing medical folks, you know. Is this back yet? Take a look. Yes, it is. Scout ship setting set. Alright, the guards are gone. Let's move in. Benwick and the crew did a fine job. Red crates. The seal of Midgant Cathedral? Should we look inside? There's no need. Burn them, Lafayette. Okay. It's weird that Lafayette is so obedient to us. Like, we're not really we're his here. master. Let's go. But... Like, we basically kidnapped him, and he's like, Oh, I guess that's, they're my new master now. That storm cost too much time. I must report to Lord Artorius as soon as possible. This bitch. <gasps> it's you! Oh, hey. The crybaby. Eleanor Hume, Exorcist Crater. Bitch. <laughs> You won't get away this time! You really want to fight, don't you? Do I have any arts for humanoid? 
demi-human. I don't think I have any moves that are humanoid. I don't. Actually, no, these guys aren't humans. These are uh, probably summon model. Very little bitch. Damn, she just got fucking smashed. Okay, so that's the combo of doing break arts into a mystic. Willing to fight without your Malakine? No! You set the storehouse ablaze?! The people have worked so hard to withstand this time of crisis. How can you destroy what they have so painstakingly built?! Because I'm not human. You'll pay for this, you demon! More Malakim up her sleeves. I will protect you, <laughs> Madam Eleanor! Come and face me now, demon! He's adorable. Uh, am I? Ooh, I found you at last. That, that bad voice! The Enfu, you traitor! You'll never leave my clutches again! Not her! No! What are you doing? Get out there and fight! Hey, look! Is that smoke? No, it is it's just fire. dark clouds, dumbass. The fire has spread enough. Let's get going. You're coming with us. Let me go! Witch nippers! Madam Exorcist! What happened? Oh, you're badly hurt. I can wait. Gather the people and put out that fire. Yes, madam. Tell me, do you know what was being kept in that warehouse? Um, mostly nectar, I believe. Vast stores of the medicine, provided by High Priest Gideon, to be distributed to doctors across the land. Medicine given by the church? Why would anybody destroy it? Whew. Looks like we're in the clear. That weird little Moloch was the one you were looking for? The very same. The Moloch Bienfu! A creature of unfathomable wickedness and beguiling cuteness who broke the heart of this wretched maiden! <laughs> Once I finally catch him, who knows what I'll be capable of? Not sure I get it. <laughs> Me neither. Good. Pray that you never do. Let's go back and report our success. Oh, we're already running. I'll just run this. So... You want some bird? Come on. I have a feeling, because before, I mean, the crates looked similar, but before well, we then, rescued, move on. we, like, rescued supplies from a group of traveling healers, whereas that time, we were targeting church medicine, so, I'm gonna take a guess here, I'll finish this fucker, I'm gonna take a guess that the church medicine is somehow tainted with something, and that the regular medicine isn't, which is why we were trying to save the regular medicine. 
the crates look the same, so I don't, I don't know if my theory is really all that correct. Come on, really? How much was that one crate? I might have enough for it. I think it was 90-ish. And so I was like, if I get attacked from behind by two, this advantageous, dangerous battle, probably not a good thing. Locus Jewel of the Empire. Fuck your empire. Shit all over it. Trouble at the docks, was there? Mendy, Gallus Lake Road. Good luck. And that Gallus Lake area is where that A other scholar red missing on the road to Gallus Lake. Strange request. If they know where he vanished, why don't they just look for him there? Exactly. And what's so illegal about a missing persons case that you gotta go to the underworld? I can think of a few possibilities. But our job isn't to ask questions. And that's where I'm going, Gallus Lake Road, Yawning Wetlands. Okay, so the question is... Where is that exactly? Maybe it's that other area that I could have gone off to the right. Find out soon enough. Like stuff like this, I feel would be great to stream, like doing missions like this and the, the hunts, but at the same time, I don't want to like be in the middle of doing something and then be like, oh, and now we're stuck in a story mission, so I'll have to, I don't know. Maybe I'll reach a point. I mean, I remember back when I played Vesperia, there was, you got a point where like you had your, you know, your core trying to do. Let's see, that's unknown, unknown, unknown. But yeah, you reached a point where it was like, alright, well we gotta go here to continue the main quest, but there's a bunch of different things you can do in the meantime. And I think that's the point I need to reach, assuming there is one like that. Let's see. Hidden and Moloch art damage. Oh, hang on a second. Don't you have hidden arts too? You do. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna keep pumping them all into her. And that goes. Is it just it's still blocked off? Yeah, so we're not going that way. Go, Wolf. Oh, they stunned me. Oh, so when I dash, that counts as the first part of my combo. This is combo supposed to be double searing edge. If I do a dash, it goes... Okay, so I can skip the first portion of a combo completely Come with the dash. On, really? I remember, like, reading something about that. I was kind of like, I didn't really understand it at first. I was like, do I just dash and it skips the combo? But yeah, apparently it's quite literally. You dash and you skip the combo. Hey. 
That noisy demon looks pretty strong. Think it might be one of those code red demons? Doesn't matter to me. I'd rather not waste my time fighting it if I don't need to. I don't see it as a waste of time. Look, the Abbey only has a handful of exorcists strong enough to take something like this down, right? Probably. I'd say Praetors like Lady Teresa and the Legates could probably take it on. And those guys are all your enemies, right? <sighs> I see where you're going with this. The Abbey is strong, both in its individual members and as an organization. And if we're to close the gap between us and them, we need to fight strong opponents like this demon. That's what I would do. But you're free to make your own decision. All right. But we should determine just how strong it is. That goes without saying. You don't have to worry that much. If you... I don't recall asking for your protection. You don't need to. I mean, I feel like a better reason would be for the simple fact that we should fight it because she can devour demons. Like, it makes sense that, you know, we should go and devour it because you're devouring a super high-end demon. Anyway, I'll swing back and kill that thing on the way out of here. And now I gotta figure out how I get up there. You'll be rust on my blade. Can't even call that a fuck. I would agree. Fucking blow out. Ooh, all the goodies. All the cats. Oh, you little shit.
that's where we need to go. Where's the zone exactly? Yawning wetlands. Oh, there's one of our marks over here. We're finished here. Let's go. Save does, but I'll be good to do before I jump into combat against the red. Right, uh, let's see, let's eat a meal. Um, fills SG completely. Let's probably go for. This is a fiend and a snake. No, man, Nothing to specialize in this, so there's, there's only whatever combos I can. Just focus on trying to stop. Chain it right. It did way less damage than it could have. 
I mean, this thing is still gonna get fucking wrecked. It was a close one, but I am the victor. Get Duke, you done. Kind of sad if that's a powerful enough demon that only the highest members of the exorcists can take it on. Like, that thing was a chump. There's a chest out there. We'll hit that, swing down, and hopefully that'll lead us to the guy we're trying to find. Just to wrap up both these quests. Definitely gonna be teleporting out of here when the time comes. go through that whole thing and come out there's a teleporter over there. It's super convenient. Tell you what though, this mission was fucking down here, man. Who goes there? What on earth are guards doing here? These aren't normal guards. Watch out! They've got molecules! They're no ordinary cell swords. Kill the power link first. Yeah. 
Sheesh, what do you suppose they were guarding? A little lost lamb, perhaps. You think they're holding Mendy captive? I think we'll find out in a second here. Oh, yes, 10% more movement speed! This is actually like a good pace. Like, this is the kind of pace. This feels good. It's amazing what a difference 20% makes. Is there someone here named Mendy? We've come to help. Oh, thank goodness. I can finally go home. So they were keeping you prisoner. They made you mine vermilion ore? Yes, I discovered a method of refining it, and it cost me dearly. What's vermilion ore? A rare stone made of concentrated nutrients. It can be used in medicine, but it's also poisonous. Correct. So you were making medicine? Yes. They were forcing me to make a nutritional substance called nectar. Isn't vermilion ore supposed to be highly addictive? Uh, I told them that. But what choice did I have? Whatever. Our task is come. Can you get back to Logris on your own? I can. I'm terribly sorry. Why apologize to me? So that explains. We finished it. all the jobs. Let's get back to the old lady's tavern. <laughs> you sure do like that Mabo curry. Uh, do I? Don't ask me. You didn't think it was tasty, Velvet? Couldn't tell you. Huh? Food doesn't hold any flavor for her. According to Velvet, she can never feel sated. And the only thing she can taste is blood. Oh, I see. So, instead of giving people good medicine, they were making basically super highly addictive drug medicine. Nice. Fucking douchebags. Nora bottle. Alright, let's turn to the highway. What was that one path I didn't get a chance to go down? I couldn't go over to there. Connect, connect, connect. Hang on. There was one path I didn't take. Was it that one right there? Did I hop across to that island? Hmm. Hop across. Yeah, I think it was that downward path for me. Yeah, that was it. I didn't go down at all. Well, I mean, looking at this, it looks like it just dead ends, but... I'm guessing there's a treasure chest out there, so... Before we wrap this one up, we're already at fucking 33 minutes. I might as well mosey on over there and see what's down below. And I can always use another bottle and hop out of here. If nothing else, I'll get more cat souls doing it. Maybe a little bit more battle XP. And I did get another 10% speed increase, so I won't take that long. I mean, another, like, 20% on top of what I got now would definitely be nice. But already, I'm, like, just going from 10 to 20, it's, it's noticeable how much movement I'm getting from every step. Hardly. 
Christ, dude, pixels are fucking everywhere. targeting thing in this game to just like really target the kind of closest to me. Might even be a setting I can turn on. Damn! New words for everyone, Avalanche Fangs, Shockwave Slash, Incapacitator, Fuckload of Items, damn! You better be I need ready. to do these more often, dude. If you want to live, get out of my- Always ready to fight. No, I can't die here. Oh, fuck. When did that happen? So well. It was a close one. Like I'm honestly not even sure how my health got that low. Well, let's grab this chest and then after this we're out of here. This episode up. We've already come this far. So we got one more thing. Actually, you know what? No. Oh, fucking whoops. We can save the uh, the other heart to pick up next episode. We'll take a little longer run over there and shit anyway. So, alright, we're gonna wrap this one up here. So we're approaching 40 minutes. Um, it's fucking episodes, man. They just keep going on and on. But anyway, hopefully, you guys are enjoying the game as much as I am. Definitely really liking this combat. It's uh, very much a breath of fresh air after the Final Fantasy XII system, which was mostly autopilot, even though I did kind of enjoy that. But anyway, stay tuned. We'll catch you guys next time with more Berserian.